Flexible dieting is pretty simple and hopefully you already have a base understanding of it, but essentially what we're looking to do is maintain a certain caloric intake every day, maintain a certain amount of protein consumed every day, maintain a certain amount of carbohydrates consumed every day, maintain a certain amount of fat consumed every day, and maintain a certain amount of fiber consumed every day. Now, if we are going to be flexible with our food selection and kind of eat whatever foods we prefer, we're going to need to track the calories, the protein, the carbs, the fats, and the fiber in those foods every day. So we use an app called MyFitnessPal, which is an easy food diary that will, you know, track the nutrient information for each of those foods. And as long as we hit our targets for every day, we are going to be on track. And what that means is today you can choose to have oats and protein powder and berries and fish oil for breakfast. Tomorrow you can choose to have eggs on toast with avocado and tomato. It's entirely up to you. But by the end of the day, if you are hitting your macronutrient targets, you're having enough fiber, then we are all good. And you know you can be completely flexible with what foods you consume. In addition to that, flexible dieting is, it's all about having variety with your food, right? And being able to eat whatever you want uh, and fit that into your, your targets for the day from a nutritional perspective. But in addition to that, we also you know kind of disregard any need for eating every two to three hours as a typical um, bodybuilder might do as an example um, you know and we pretty much just throw out all the other rules besides eat the food you like hit your macros and uh, make sure you have enough fruits and vegetables every day to get your fiber intake up if you are looking to optimize things then obviously we want to look at some nutrient timing and make sure that we have protein spread out throughout the day you know a good amount of carbohydrates pre-workout maybe post-workout and keeping the fat and the fiber intake low or, or you know, little to none pre-workout and post-workout as well.